Good afternoon, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how to be more confident when dating. Well, this is a really good conversation, I think, because there's been quite a few people that have asked me this question, and it's not really a simple answer because some of us are confident from a very early age and some of us have to learn how to adapt to this, learn how to be more outgoing, more expressive, all those things. As a young girl, I was not very extroverted. I was quite quiet. I've learned, as you can tell, to be an extroverted person because of my surroundings and some of the situations I found myself in. When you have to deal with things where you're sort of put on the back burner, or you don't feel accepted, or you feel that people are judging you, you have to change up what isn't working. And a lot of that has to do with how you are projecting yourself outwardly. So let's talk about how we get to be a little bit more energetic and extroverted with how we come across to people that we're in contact with. Because this is an important thing when you're dating because first impressions are lasting impressions. And you want to make sure that somebody notices you for your great qualities that you have. If you're more of an introverted person, that doesn't mean that you lack confidence. That just might mean that you're not as, more, as much of a people person. You enjoy your own company more. And that's a very confident trait when you're comfortable in your own skin and with who you are. This is something that's great to have and we can all learn from anybody who has this quality. But the thing is when you're on a date, you don't want to be too introverted because then you're shutting down a good part of who you are. You're not letting people see the real you. You're letting them see the, maybe the quiet side of you. So a lot of people might be a little bit more confident when they're just in their work environment or they're outside walking down the street and they're having, you know, chats to people and feel good about that. But dating can be a whole different ball game. It can make you feel like you're being judged, you're being watched, and, and also sort of being interviewed. And so this puts a little bit more anxiety into the equation and can take away even the smallest confidence that you have because you're nervous as to what impression you're making. So if you are having a little bit of trouble with your confidence when you're dating, I suggest choosing the venue. Be the one that's maybe a little bit more assertive as to where you go so that you're comfortable in the environment. The last thing you want to do if you're lacking a bit of confidence is to have somebody choose a place venue that makes you really anxious. It makes you feel like, oh my God, how am I going to be able to do this? You want to maybe be in a bit of a quieter environment, maybe a coffee shop or a cafe, or maybe something sitting outside where you're just having a, a, a cold drink of something and you're chatting to each other. The thing that I do suggest though is even if you're a little bit nervous to really try and make eye contact with the person because if you're having a date with somebody, a lot of their body language and their eye contact gives you a true indication of, of what they're all about as well. So if you're making eye contact with them, they're making it back with you, you've got your undivided attention with each other, which is a really great thing and an important thing to have, especially on a first date. Because if you don't feel a connection, you're not going to make it to the second date. So this is where it's super important to try and let go of some of the, the maybe the little bit of insecurities that you might have. Because we all have insecurities when we're dating. Another thing that I used to do if I felt a little bit nervous on a date is I would turn it around and ask them questions so that it put more of the emphasis on them especially if they were came across more confident than I did. That way it gives you time to relax, get to see how they interact with you, and they're talking about themselves, which a lot of people like to do and some people don't. But the thing is you're finding out more information about them and it's kind of taking a bit of the pressure off you. So whenever you feel that, oh my God, there's too much information going on about me, swap it over a bit and ask them questions. Before you go on a date, maybe have a few questions in your head about what you would like to know about anybody you're dating and just use some of those questions. Because I think the biggest problem for a lot of people, they get intimidated on a date because they get nervous and tongue-tied and don't know what to say. So go equipped, go with something that you really want to know about them.
The reason I suggest coffee or cafe is because there's less pressure when there's no financial things involved. You don't, nobody's worrying about who's paying or, or anything like that. You're just going out and you're maybe doing an hour coffee. When you go out for dinner, you're sitting across from somebody, maybe in a really nice establishment. You've got to worry more about what you're wearing. You've got to worry more about what you're going to say because it's going to be a lot longer. It's going to be two to three hour date. Whereas sometimes with a coffee date, you might only be an hour. If it goes really well, then you can go on longer, but you're feeling good about it because you don't feel pressured. It's not that easy to go out and meet up with a total stranger and sit there and share things about yourself, especially if you've come from a bad breakup or you've got some insecurities that you're still dealing with. This is why I always suggest that when you are dating that you take things slow and you meet them in, a, in a, an environment that is not the least bit intimidating. If you're still having troubles going on a date and feeling confident, start practicing outside of that environment. When you go out with friends or even by yourself, sit in a coffee shop and just say hi to the neighbor or say hi to somebody in the lineup or you're walking down the street, smile and say hello to people. The more you practice just being natural and being open, the more it will come to you when you are on a date because it will be sort of second nature because you're not sitting there feeling out of your depth because you've been practicing. And the more you do this, you're conquering your fears. And that is the thing that a lot of people forget when they are scared about something or fearful is they become more and more fearful about the situation rather than combating it and going to try to fix it. So this is, will really, really help you. Um, if you're taking a little bit of a break from dating because you're nervous about going back to it, just start talking to people. If you're at the gym, say hi to somebody beside you. Whatever the scenario, wherever you put yourself, give energy to your surroundings. Another thing, date people that you have things in common with. Whether you're on a dating site and reading their profile, make sure that there's a lot of things in there that that you're compatible with. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to feel confident and have a good conversation because you don't have a lot to talk about. Same if you're going out and you're meeting them in person. Go to venues that you're comfortable in. You're sitting there and maybe you have a chance to talk to somebody or meet somebody that's in the, in the same environment. And you have something in common immediately, which is what you should always have when you're going dating because you want to know that you have compatibility with somebody. That's what takes it to the second, third, fourth date. If you don't have anything in common and you don't have great conversations, you're not going to have something to move forward with. And there's nothing wrong with being a little bit shy. You can just say to them, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit shy, I'm, I, but I am comfortable talking to you and I'm enjoying this very much. Like, let them know. There's nothing wrong with being a little vulnerable and telling them how you're feeling because it's much better that way than for them to maybe think you're being aloof or you're being cool. You want them to understand who you truly are. That's really important to get across to somebody. As I've said in a couple of other shows, dating is a learning curve. It's a training ground. You can go out there and learn a little bit each time you date somebody. Give it your all, put your best foot forward, and show them who you are. Even if you only give them a, a part of who you are in the beginning, that's okay because you don't want to give too much information out immediately anyway. And please remember that no matter what you think that you're the only one that isn't confident, everybody out there has some insecurity. Nobody gets away with it that they're that cocky and that overly confident that they don't have something that they deal with. So thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe. I love it when you do. And please leave any comments below. Thank you everyone who has been taking the time to comment lately. I really appreciate you. Take care everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.